What is going on everybody? Aaron here with Orbis X and today I'm going to be showing you uh, maintenance plans and how to create them with recurring events and recurring invoices with cards on file auto charging. So let's just make sure we are in the calendar. Now we're going to start off by creating a client. There's a few different ways to do this. Number one, you can press this light blue plus client on the top left of the calendar. You can also go to clients, view clients and plus new. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do plus new from here. You can go ahead and create a, a client. So we're going to do test client, or no, we're going to do recurring client test phone number, put in anything. And then same thing with the email test recurring at mail.com. Um, then let's throw in a vehicle here. Um, and this vehicle is going to be like a 2022 do a Audi A4 here. So go Audi A4, beautiful. That is going to be a sedan. And let's just do blue. How about that? Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and save the client. Easy peasy. Now, what we're going to do is super simple. We can go ahead and create an appointment right from here. So uh, with recurring appointments, there's two different types. You have, you've got your recurring appointments um, that you have your parent, which is the initial um, a event that you create. So this is going to be our parent. And then on the far right here, this event repeats each individual repeating event. Okay. will also um, be considered its own event. And you would always edit this parent here. So let's go ahead and pick a date. We'll go ahead and do July 29th. That's totally fine. 9am, three hours. And um, then I'm just going to put in here reoccurring test and then let's go ahead and do any no let's do 400 you know what let's just use some cool features so let's go ahead and do a detailing and a ceramic coating that will be perfect okay and then we can also do six year and then standard you know interior detail that's fine um let's do ceramic bay beautiful go ahead and add the sales team done and then the detailing team perfect with recurring client and then we'll go ahead here and this event repeats and we can do recurring. Let's do, um, for example, the detailing portion. We'll do um, every three months. So this event repeats. You press every X months. The X can change to three. Choose interval every three months. Choose day of the week. We'll do the closest Wednesday. And then uh, we're going to repeat this infinitely. Okay. Um, let me show you some other options. So you've got every X days. Okay. Every one day, every three days, every 10 days, eight days, whatever. You also have every X money years. Now a specific day of the month is pretty cool. You can choose which day of the month. So this would basically be monthly, but it would be on the seventh. Okay. So instead of it being, um, one, one month from now would, would which would be the 29th. Okay. Of, August and let's just say like it's Wednesday it could be the, you know on the seventh of every month and that would change one day it's Sunday one day it's Monday Tuesday this is good for if you were doing like a reoccurring credit card bill like make sure you pay off your credit card on the seventh on the tenth um, and then you have every X week of the month so every third week or, or you know first week and then you can choose which day of the week tons of different options so let's go ahead and do every x months and we'll do every three months closest wednesday we're gonna go ahead and press oh do the magic wand 2996 beautiful let's press save here okay now that we have our event it's also recurring and we can see this very easily in the calendar so if i go to the calendar here so we've got the 29th reoccurring test but i'm going to go to august 29th okay and then right here is the recurring event once it occurs okay all right i jumped along here so because it's not that day yet it, you're not going to see the actual recurring so i'm going to move this back really quick and we'll, we'll get right back okay i found the silly me i put it for every three months so recurring test on the 29th i, I set it to one month now um, so you've got it one month from now, which ends up to be the closest Wednesday, which is the 31st. We choose close Wednesday, August. You also have it in um, <clears throat> September, maybe. I... Okay, it only goes out to the next month. So 
Um, we've got the July 29th here, and then we'll go August 31st, closest Wednesday. Now, if I press into here, you can see that this is a recurring event that does not exist yet. So the morning before or the day before, so on the 30th, it's going to say you have a new event and this 31st recurring test will now create. OK, so if you want to click here, you can edit the single date of the recurring profile. So let's say you call, you call this recurring client. And he says, you know what, instead of the 31st, can we do the 30th? Easy peasy, we'll go into the event here. We'll go down, click here to edit this single date. Now we're in the August 31st, we can move it to the 30th and we can press save. Okay, let's go back to the calendar, go to August. Now let's say that we're in August and we wanna edit the parent. You go ahead and you press edit parent and it's right here. And it's got parent with a little edit icon. And now we're editing the, the July 29th, and you can see you've got the different settings here. If we go ahead and do um, the 30th of August, and we go in to try and edit, right here it says edit parent event. It's gonna bring us right to the parent event, okay? So now we're in the parent event. Let's go to actions, and let's create a new recurring invoice. So we'll press new invoice. You can see detailing, we've got 299, standard 299. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. I'm gonna delete this. So we've got six year ceramic and then the standard here, we've got a total of $2,031.74. So this is an invoice It automatically created from the event. We're gonna go ahead and press save. And now to create recurring, you're gonna to go to additional options and then you're gonna press recurring profile. So you've got recurring weekly, monthly, two months, three months, six months, or a year old. We're gonna do monthly, right? How many times? Infinite. Otherwise, you could do five times, so it's going to do it for five months. We're going to leave it at infinite. And then what you go ahead and do is you can save this. Now, this is going to be recurring monthly. It'll auto-create. Now, if you want it to auto-bill, you press charge card on file, and then we go ahead and press save. Okay. Now, the first time that you create a recurring invoice, you have to add the payment manually in order for the card to charge on file the next time. So you go to add payment. We could do a Stripe online, go ahead and add a card, and then it'll charge that card. And then when it creates the next invoice, it will automatically charge unless you already have a card saved. You absolutely have to have a card saved within, excuse me, within their profile, okay, to enable the auto recharge. It won't, if there's no card saved or you don't do a manual invoice, Okay, go ahead and edit this. It will not actually charge the card on file. Now, just so you guys are, are aware, um, you can create the, the invoice first and then the event. So if we go ahead and we create a brand new invoice here and uh, let's just go new invoice, recurring test client. And then we just do test for a hundred bucks. We can create this invoice go to our calendar, then we can make any random appointment. Okay, so I'll make a random appointment. Boom, boom, boom. And then we'll add the client recurring. And then we'll go ahead and this looks perfect, press save. And then you can go ahead to actions, attach an existing invoice, and we can attach that $100 plus tax invoice right here. Now that's tagged on here, I can edit this additional options and then change a recurring profile we can do weekly for four weeks i want to charge them or let's just do like a monthly maintenance wash deal we can do that they want it for the next six months before winter whatever charge card on file um, and then you can press save and again it will not charge the card on file unless there's a card already saved so for that first invoice when you do a recurring profile under additional options you do have to manually charge their card the first time so that it can save onto their profile now just note uh, if you go to admin settings and options okay and then we go and i can just type in card don't save card setting here okay do not save customer payment cards on file if you have this selected it will not save the card and recurring profiles will not work okay this video was a little longer however this was an entire session um, start to finish on creating a client all the way to recurring invoices auto charging cards on file with recurring profiles within invoices and recurring events. Guys, this is Aaron from Orbis X. I am signing off. Everything is amazing. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.